A little bit. I don't... <laughs> a little bit, yes. <laughs> yes. I bet we caught her off guard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. All right, y'all, let's, uh, thanks for the fun. I need a good laugh in this kind of stressful time. So uh, let's yeah. head over to the stage area. Uh, feel free to grab a seat and some sofas. And then we'll actually go out into the courtyard to pray um, here in a little bit. But um, yeah. And then let me make sure we got everyone here that needs to be here. Do I see Alina at all? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see Alina. Oh, there she is. So yeah. fast right now. All right. Okay, everyone. Um, so let, yeah, let's go ahead and begin with our uh, meeting today for uh, this urgent church meeting. And uh, the way I just want to start things out is it's clear that we have never experienced something like this in our generation. And, you know, and I'm not a historian. Pastor Bismick is the historian of the group, and he could probably speak to this is probably a once in a hundred years type of thing. And what, what's crazy about this international incident is, you, you know, you hear of like the hurricanes, you know, you know, ransacking the Florida Keys and you hear about mm. things happening in Afghanistan and there's always something happening, but it's always over there. Or even if it's in your town or, or region, it's limited uh, to your region. Nope, let me get architect in here. Um, so it's limited to your region, your area. There's never really been a whole lot of just global things that we've we faced, at least in my lifetime, I don't know, maybe someone else could speak um, for that. And, and so we're, we're in an international crisis. I mean, the, the whole, the globe is like slowing down, stopping, schools are canceled, jobs are canceled, people are getting sick. And uh, there's, this, there's this certainly a lot going on in our world today. And it seems like everybody's responding, which I think is great. I mean, I'm getting emails from everybody like, U.S., you know, I fly Southwestern, they're sending out emails, I'm getting emails from the local, I don't know, uh, cafe. I mean, everyone's responding, uh, churches, government, you name it. And so uh, one thing that the elders thought was important is that we should really talk about uh, the virus as it pertains to virtual reality church. Since this is an international in incident, and since we are all in this together, what are some of the things that VR church can do to serve our community, to serve the metaverse, to serve our region. I mean, you name it. So uh, I'm going to talk about a few things. And then really, uh, the ultimate goal isn't for me to lay out a plan. The ultimate goal is for me to say, we need a plan and we need your help, your thoughts, your talents, your ideas, your strategies. You know, we might not be able to do them all, but what are some things that we can do to serve our community? Met, particularly the metaverse first, our Discord community, and then even beyond that. I mean, VR chat was, was pretty uh, packed today. I mean, I wonder, I mean, I would assume it was because of the virus and that was a correlation. Um, and I can only imagine that this isn't a short incident. It feels like we have a long way to go. I'm not an expert, by the way. So uh, do your reading. But as far as my observation is, um, you know, it seems like we're in this for the for the long haul, and and I think particularly the next two weeks are going to be very critical. And then, to some degree, this is going to continue to 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 be an issue. And so, the church, and I don't, and, and I'm going to get to this important point, but the church in general, just from my observation, was kind of not prepared for something like this. Just my my friends that are pastors, my friends in ministry are like kind of scrambling. Uh, some aren't. Some were kind of set up for online, and they just kind of, you know, it was a little inconvenience from the physical side, but they had things set up. And so I think there's also an opportunity there. How can we serve people? If, you know, how can we serve them and help them get an event started in virtual reality? Maybe we can do a tutorial or a, an event um, a 101 type of thing and, and help them to show us, show people how we do church. Maybe we live stream or videos or we create little mini videos. I mean, I'm just starting out like um, the ideas and I really want maybe to have a brainstorm right now, just to kind of throw some ideas out, and then we'll definitely follow up uh, this on Discord. Uh, before we do that, I want to, um, and this is just for fun. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter. Um, this guy, Casey, I don't, I don't know him personally, but um, you know, we all made fun of your church and now look at us. And so he's a, I think he's a pastor. Um, and so, you know, it's just, I, I, I look at that as fun. I've never been um, offended by how, well, I can say never. But I, 
more often than not, try not to be offended about how people have reacted to our church and our baptisms and all that thing and all those things. And so it was just funny for me to kind of see that. And I'm just getting responses. And I don't know if you've got messages of people kind of relating to you, you know, what's going on and with VR Church. And so um, some guy was like, yep, you're ahead of the curve. And uh, in one sense, you know, nothing changed. We didn't even uh, bat an eye to a certain degree. But in all seriousness, I said, I showed that as a joke. Uh, but in all seriousness, I mean, if you, like I said, this is an international incident. Um, you can so, you can clearly tell this is happening globally. I don't know if anybody, I don't think anybody here is from Northern Italy, but man, Northern Italy is getting smashed hard. Um, there's some really difficult cases in there. The U.S. is getting hit pretty hard. Obviously, China, um, ex, um, I don't think he's here. Uh, Oscar is from China. Um, and so you can see um, this, this situation unfolding. This is a screenshot I took just literally minutes ago. Um, so this is pretty updated. Um, now, the encouraging thing to see is on the right hand. I, I love how they put this. This is really important for them to add is the 75,000 that have recovered. And so that's an important step to really look at. The, the deaths are certainly tragic. Um, and as you can see, this is just affecting the globe. Um, but what can VR Church do? You know, at one point I was like, I was thinking to myself, I don't know if we can even do much. I mean, we're just, but then I thought, you know what? As I talk with some people, no, we can do a ton. We can, like I said before, encourage people, in the very least, provide a spiritual opportunity on Sundays. There's a lot of fear and anxiety and worry about this virus. Uh, we can provide a home for them. People that were, maybe their church doesn't have a physical, or their physical church doesn't have a live stream. You know, maybe we could, you know, help them to try to get connected into VR Church. Don't forget, all these platforms we're on have a 2D mode. So, um, and then there's the Mixer live stream. So there's a lot of ways people can get connected uh, with Virtual Reality Church. But at the end of this kind of quick uh, chat today, I really want to take some time to pray. We'll go out to the courtyard, form a little circle, and just really pray for the situation in the world. Um, but here's some thoughts I want you to think about. Like I said, I'm not laying out a plan. I'm starting a, a, a movement or an idea, a brainstorm, uh, where ultimately you and we together as a church, like we've been reading through the book of Acts. Remember, the church got together to solve, solve this problem, and the church got together to solve that problem. And so in the same idea, be our church, let's get together to see how we can serve. Um, what are the ways we can do it? So how can we serve the metaverse? I mean, the people that are that come to our church or maybe that they're around in VR chat rec room or alt space or wherever, maybe there's a lot of fear and anxiety. Maybe they're not connected with the church and we can provide an opportunity to spiritually minister to people. Don't underestimate the, the, to the encouragement that we could give to people, uh, the prayers that we could pray with individuals. And, um, you know, I think that's important. You know, maybe we need to have an event just focused um, well, it sounds kind of weird, focused around the virus, but not like in a weird way, but just in an opportunity to pray, like a prayer, like a, a prayer service uh, concerning the international virus that's happening. So there's a lot of fear and anxiety, and I think that might be our primary ministry, is as ministers of Jesus Christ, you know, it's not just me, I'm, you know, I got the title pastor, but, you know, that doesn't make me any different than you, and that we have an opportunity to provide um, encouragement and to encourage each other's faith through prayer, through the word, through all of these things. Um, and so that's really important. I think that's one of the ways we can serve the ministry, uh, the metaverse. But how also can we serve our neighbor? Is there someone, you know, that's they, they, they don't have a church to connect to anymore. How can we help them get connected? Send them the download link to Altspace, invite them into our Discord. There's a lot of things that we can do and Pastor and Lena and Bismick and, you know, the elder team, um, you know, Zach and Wilco, you know, we're limited in our time and our energy. But once, if we get in all this together and get everyone involved, I think we can come up with some something really creative and some things we probably wouldn't have even imagined uh, that could have a large impact. So at the end of the day, uh, we need your ideas, but we also need your leadership. What that means is we're going to start – cranking out ideas, we're going to start brainstorming, maybe we'll split up into like, um, I know we don't have a lot of time because we've got a service coming up, maybe we'll do a little breakout, get like uh, five or five or six people in a group, just kind of talk through some ideas, maybe we can, you guys can upvote the best ideas, Zach, we probably should have talked about this because you master the coffee, coffee uh, 
um, coffee meeting format. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that. I kind of like that splitting up just for like five, 10 minutes, hammering out some ideas, uploading some ones, and then maybe presenting some ones. Um, I think that'd be good. But because uh, I've heard people say, and I, please don't take this the wrong way. Hey, Pastor, we should do this on Twitter. We should get a Twitter and do this. We should do that. And yes, we should. But like, you know, talking with Elena, our plates are full. And so we need people to be able to maybe step up or take leadership or take the energy and run with it. So yes, let's do it. But, uh, and Pastor Elena and I will support you. We'll help you. But we probably, depending on what it is, but we probably can't do it ourselves. We're going to need you to do it. Okay. So we need your leadership. We need your energy uh, behind these things. And, and it's okay. By the way, we, we embrace failure here at VR church. So what that means is we're not like haphazardly just making mistakes and like, Oh, oops, you know, just dropping things. No, but what I'm saying is let's try your idea. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Oh, my idea didn't work. It failed. And don't worry about that, man. This whole idea, from the birth of VR Church has been a big experiment, so um, no worries. And so let's we'll, let's do that breakout. Uh, uh, Stubborn couldn't get here today, Stubborn Ninja, so he had some ideas about really doing a big drive on social media. So he had some ideas there, and he also had some ideas about, which I think is a great idea, is maybe adding a service in rec room because you know there's that community there that needs spiritual encouragement as well. So we're going to need some people, and I'll, I'll put post this in Discord because I think it's hard to read. But basically, social media and rec room is what uh, Stubborn Ninja was saying. But same thing, Stubborn can't do it by himself. He's going to need some people to run in there and, and play laser tag and, and pray for people and help them out, you know, that type of stuff. So this is a, ultimately this meeting is a call for the church to get into action. And even though we might not physically be able to go out and do something and technically we probably shouldn't to work depending on where you're at, right? We can't, we have to limit our social distancing is a new kind of touch phrase. So man, this might be our time to shine, so to speak. And I don't mean that in an arrogant look at us way. And just uh, man, this is a time where we can serve the community, serve people, you know, sh show people a new way to do church and ministry. And even though it's a joke, it, it, there's a little bit of seriousness going back to that Twitter post. Um, you know, we made fun of VR Church, but <laughs> look at us now, right? And so um, that's one idea I want you to think about. Um, all right, we're going to split up into uh, some uh, groups here, about five or ten minutes. But I want to leave this verse with you, Isaiah 41.10. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And what the reason I love this verse is because it's in Isaiah. The reason I love Isaiah is because the children of Israel, I feel like they were just messing up all the time. So it's just, just gracious, loving God who has unfailing love, whose faithfulness does not fail, and he's always coming. Like, uh, uh, I think, what is the, I think, was it in Isaiah where the mother hen gathers up her chicks? Kind of the same same idea. And so even if this virus is a, the making of our own, you know, hand, mankind does it again, I don't know. I'm not trying to, to go there fatalistically. But what I am saying is that God is still going to come in and gather and because he loves us and he wants, he doesn't want to see people sick and dying. Okay, any, um, any questions or comments? Let me turn on the, uh, any raise hand thing. There we go. So we can turn on your microphone. So, uh, we're going to split up into some groups, but um, I also want an opportunity for um, any questions or, or comments that you might have, anything you need clarification about. Um, click that raise hand button, and I can uh, uh, give you a megaphone. Um, all right, so in desert, what you got, my friend? Um, I was wondering where you got that, like, map of all of that information, like, what website was that on? Yes, uh, the map was from, I think, John, John Hopkins University. And maybe if you okay. Google that, or I can, maybe I can put the link in Discord if you just shoot me a reminder. Um, I can right. send, you that, send you that link. All right, any other questions or comments? Acriel, hey, hey, yes. Um, I, I've been wanting to see if I could try and expand the VR church as a whole to lots of other platforms like i've had a, 
to like I want to try and like tell my friends about it and due to this virus starting to like really take a toll on people and the world obviously what other platforms could we probably try to expand to in a sense of whether it be like like Twitter and Facebook or even game wise because I know this may sound a little silly but there are genuine sermons that happen on a on a Roblox all the time and I've been mm-hmm. to I've been to some so what other platforms could we try to expand to to try and mm. help people to gather people and maybe even That's... we could like do live streams on Twitch because I know yeah. Mixer versus Twitch Twitch has a way higher user count versus Mixer yes yeah yeah and we and um, maybe that's a great uh, breakout kind of conversation. One quick thought I have right behind it is that we've, we've only been on Mixer just because, I don't know, we haven't really thought beyond that. But maybe now is the time to get on to provide as many outlets as possible. So I think it's a really good, really good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so definitely bring that up. Uh, Tyler, uh, you got a uh, question comment. Yes, I just want to, uh, first of all, I want to wish uh, Bismick a happy birthday. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Pastor Bismick! <laughs> yes, yes. You, thank you, thank you. We'll say yeah, happy birthday to you at the, at the end, an <laughs> asynchronous haunting chorus of <laughs> yes. VR way. And, uh, totally going to do that. Yeah, then second, I want to hook on to what Akril was saying. Um, uh, what about Facebook? I mean, we have quite a few followers there, and um, I think Facebook streaming... Um, would be a really uh, helpful thing as well because Facebook is so accessible especially to uh, maybe elderly people who are at this time super um, isolated even more than before like even families who cannot visit them because they're scared to infect them and that will be uh, yeah could become devastating of course yeah yeah I think I think that's a great great thing Um, and maybe I don't think shadows here but maybe we create Oh, well, there might be already a COVID, but I think it's a general discussion on Discord, but maybe we should either erase that one and put ideas 